Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the second video of HBase series. Guys, in the very first video, I have talked about some of the few shell commands. So in this video, I'll be talking about the remaining shell commands. All right, so let's continue with the same topic, guys. Let's start. So the very first command that I'll be covering up today, uh, it's the multifunctional command that is also common to SQL, which is called alter. Guys, uh, we all know that alter is a multifunctional command through which we can add a column, drop a column, write change data type of a column, write rename. It means we can do multiple things with alter in SQL. In a similar to this, in HBase, it's also a multifunctional thing, right? So we can do wonders with alter. Let's start with this command first. So the very first command which is coming up, it's called alter. For this, I'll be creating one table first on which I'll be applying this alter command. So I'm keeping uh, my table as create test table one and I'm keeping one column family which is call fam one done. So on this table, test table one, I'll be uh, applying, I'll be testing my alter command. The very first thing what I'll be doing with the alter is to add a column family. So for this, the syntax is quite simple. Alter space table name, which is called test table one. All right, then comma, you can make use of name and give the name of that column family that you want to keep, that you want to add. I'm keeping it as call fam2. I'm keeping it as call fam2. We are done guys. All right. So uh, we have done with the very first command through which we have added a column family, which is call fam2. Next point, uh, if you want to get rid of this column family it means you want to drop a column family you can also do with the alter command the syntax remain almost the same just at the last you have to append a little thing which is called method so i want to delete this so this mention delete that's it all right so with this command your call fam2 will got will be deleted all right will be dropped just see Yes, we got our terminal back and uh, we, we haven't got any error. It means it got successfully executed. Okay, the third thing which we can do, we can also uh, alter the versions. All right, so we can also alter the versions of a table. So how we can do it? First of all, let me introduce you what is version. Actually, guys, in the case of HBase, if we talk about the cells, it's a combination of row, column family and a version which contains a value and a timestamp which represents the column family version. So uh, or we can say like in other ways, like a version is a timestamp value which is written alongside each value and by default that timestamp value represent the time on the region server when the data was written. But you can change the default edge based setting and specify a different timestamp value when you put data into a cell. So uh, <clears throat> one thing I want to add to it, uh, although uh, this is a additional information which I'm sharing, but it's important you to know uh, because HBase, we all know uh, it's working on the top of Hadoop and it uses H uh, HDFS. So it's not possible or not easy to update data. So to enable that feature, HBase create a version on a cells been updated. And by default, it maintains three versions. Okay, so uh, if you want to change that version, you can also change with the help of alter. So how we can do it, alter, then test table, test table one, okay. Then we can specify comma, name, your column family. Uh, it is call fam one, call fam one, all right. Then comma, versions. Okay, and specify a number that you want to keep. I've already told you uh, by default it will be keeping three versions, so I want to change it to two. Let's see. Yes, we are done. We are done, guys. All right. Afterwards, guys, uh, this is another uh, one application or use case of uh, alter available. If you want to keep the data or the table read only, so simply you can use alter test table one okay comma read only so this is another use case of alter guys 
all right i hope it's fine now i'll be uh, adding a new column family okay and with the version okay it's another variation of this version command or this alter command so what i can do i can use alter test table 1 okay then we can specify name which is maybe i'm i want to add call fam 3 straight away and i want to keep its versions as uh, maybe 5 let's suppose i want to change to 5 so earlier i was using 2 or by default it is 3 so i want to keep it 5 uh, here so i've just pressed enter it's working right so another use case of alter and uh, in addition to it we can also uh, make use of another parameter alter test table 2 so test table 1 all right comma max file size max file size so we can specify the size here uh, maybe I'm, i want to make it 1 3 some some random number i'm just adding 1778 done all right so uh, this is all about alter command right the next command that we are having is i'm just clearing the screen it is alter status alter status of test table 1 so what's this alter status guys this uh, if you want to get the status of alter command and it will indicate number of regions of the table that has received the updated schema all right so we got a status here Uh, so next command is if you want to uh, create a namespace, okay? You want to create a namespace in uh, HBase. How we can do it? Create namespace. Give a namespace name. Maybe I'm going to keep it as ns1. Maybe two. Done. S right. So it's a logical thing in HBase creating a namespace. All right, so uh, we have a one more variation available, guys. Uh, you can also specify, or you, you can also create a namespace uh, like this. Also, namespace three colon the table name. Maybe I want to create the table inside that namespace. So I want to create this RT one along with a column family, which is CF one. All right. Uh, there's some issue all right sorry uh, actually i've done one mistake here it's not create namespace it is create space then in a single quotes namespace colon table name then column family um now done actually guys the reason uh, i was getting an error in the previous command because uh, this ns3 was not available right you can see now in a in error as well unknown namespace ns3 so what i'm giving it as create ns2 which is already there colon under this namespace i want to create a table rt1 okay so now uh, if i go with this command list you can check it out that if it's available okay i'm just verifying it is available so list ns2 colon rt1 so guys errors do come right so the important thing is how we can um, troubleshoot those errors you can see now we have a option available we have a uh, table available it means it's verified so it is already created all right so i hope it's clear with the list command we can check it out that uh, if the table exists under this uh, namespace or not or you can also describe the table space with the describe command describe underscore namespace underscore namespace then give a namespace name i'm giving it as ns2 all right you can see i got a description of this namespace all right though actually i haven't added uh, additional properties of this namespace that's why i'm just getting the name of it otherwise you will be getting some additional information as well with the describe command and last point before we end up this video we have a uh, list namespace available 
as well in which you'll be getting all the namespaces including default as well let's see you can see i have a namespace this is i've created of my own default is already there edge base is already there this is i've already created namespace name and ns2 so it means ns2 is available all right so i hope guys uh, this is clear with you and uh, in case if you find something is not clear or you have some uh, doubt or some issue with some something or all right so please uh, feel free to comment all right see you next video thank you